so the most important thing that um, learners should know about MBI is how important positioning is as a technologist um, to obtain a um, high quality MBI exam. Um, positioning the breast correctly on the camera to obtain all of the breast in the field of view um, is vital so um, you don't miss any tissue because if you miss tissue, that's a potential cancer miss as well. Um, also, if the patient moves during the exam, you might um, miss something and have to take the image again. Um, learning these positioning tips and tricks um, is really um, the most um, important thing to um, allow you to keep the patient comfortable throughout the exam, which also helps them help you um, get the best um, exam for the patient. Um, so at our facility, we keep a lot of resources on hand, um, such as the MBI best practices handbook that I um, reference at the beginning of my presentation. Um, also previous presentations that we have given and other publications out there on MBI, um, just to help us um, have something quick if we need it on hand. Um, but our training at our facility is pretty intense. We have um, our technologists observe um, a few days in MB or in mammography, excuse me, um, to get um, positioning and um, terminology down um, within breast imaging. And then we complete over 80 MBI exams with direct and indirect supervision um, before a technologist is deemed competent to work on their own. challenge sometimes, um, but to clarify, um, it's not the amount of compression we use as that's um, only enough compression so that breathing doesn't move the breast tissue. Um, it's more being able to sit there um, for 10 minutes at a time, which can get tough for patients if they aren't supported correctly. Um, keeping the patient comfortable throughout um, is really easy to do once you've had the practice and supporting um, their back and neck and things like that will help you obtain the best MBI possible. Um, and keeping them relaxed throughout the whole process is um, helps you get the best exam as well. Overall solution is to create um, the most comfortable environment for your patient. So that involves a lot of communication um, before and during positioning um, with the patient. I always allow for um, letting the patient know what I'm doing before I do it or while I'm doing it so they know why you're moving them in a certain, certain position um, so you can get the best picture. Um, and then they can also tell you if something's hurting too much or movement um, so you can adjust based on um, their communication back to you. Um, also giving, um, kind of like I said before, giving the patient enough support on their back and with their head with the use of pillows really helps get them through the exam um, and make it tolerable to sit there for 10 minutes at a time for each picture. Um, we also give them a TV or eBooks or an iPad. Those things all help pass the time throughout and kind of distract the patient during imaging. Um, and we also uh, are always striving to improve the technology here at Mayo Clinic um, and just for the future to try and get those images um, faster for the, the patient.